Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this little book here is Only Ideas by Rory Adams. So please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. You are watching the internet's finest independent review channel, uh, but I am obviously very, very biased. But, uh, but but if you really like it, please like and subscribe. Please share it if if you know people that might like it. And please go and check out cardmagiccourse.com, which is my huge library of card magic video tutorial course. Uh, and it's still being built, still being added to. And as I say all the time, I'm incredibly proud of it. And it's a great way to support the channel because it looks like I'm doing this channel more and more and more. Um, and I don't really get paid, unfortunately, but I do love it. So there it is. So when I got this through the post, I was overjoyed because it's, well, first of all, it's got a quote from Andy Nyman on the front of it. So I'm very trusting of anything that Andy Nyman's got a good word to say about. Rory, by the way, has been a consultant on loads of TV shows. So again, there's some kudos there. He knows this stuff. And I think a lot of people in the magic world write books that maybe could be seen as underqualified if they're talking about certain things. Not There's some great stuff, but but it's kind of, there's a lot of books put out there and you kind of think you need to, you need a bit more stage time before saying that, mate. Uh, but Rory knows his stuff. Andy knows his stuff. The people on the back, Justin Flom, Franco Pascali, uh, Chris Ramsey, kind of know their stuff. So we're in, good, we're in good hands, I think. But the real joy was great. It's a book I'm actually going to be able to read because it's not that big and it's not going to take me ages. Um, but that's a shallow reason to like a book. The good reason to like the book is that it's full of gold. Now, talking about gold... Um, that's a great segue, isn't it? That by accident as well. Andy Nyman wrote this book, The Golden Rules of Acting, a while ago, and I really love that book. It, I still open it up and read it, and it's it's in a similar vein, really, where it's kind of you open it up and a, and a page will have like some information like that, and it will just spark an idea or it will give you a real nugget of of information that you can that may change the way you do something. You know what I mean? It's it's sometimes I think we we disregard books like this. We see them as kind of folly because we. We're used to having those books that we have like in the toilet or we get for Christmas that we never read that have got a little quote on each page. And they're kind of cute things and they're kind of what people buy each other when they can't think of anything to buy them. And that's, that's fine, that's lovely. But it, it would be easy to buy this, take it home and not really take it seriously. And this is a book to be taken seriously, a bit like Andy's book. And I'm not saying they're, they're the same thing at all. I'm just saying that they've got that same kind of thought process of, I'm gonna tell you something brilliant now based on my experience and it's only in a paragraph. But if you take that information and use it, it might just enhance what you do. Actually, it probably will. And this starts off with, with some ways to approach magic. It starts off with some ways to maybe con construct a magic trick. And if you're like me, I find that very, very difficult. I find the, that creative process very difficult. But I also believe that if you focus on it, you can do it. I don't think you have to be a creative person to be able to create. I think you just have to have faith and spend the time on it. And like I said, it's not, it's, uh, it's more perspiration and inspiration and all that kind of stuff. And, but the inspiration is very important. This will give you the inspiration. It kind of tells you why certain things work in, in a roundabout way. It sort of tells you why certain things don't work. It, it says, well, maybe you, you could start looking outside magic. So it does this lovely thing of saying, yeah, look outside magic, stop watching magic. And then it says, well, maybe watch the magic, but understand that a lot of it is, I think it says, <laughs> it says something like, I've watched magic, but, not, but only from more than 10 years ago. Um, so it's, it's got some, some lovely tongue in cheek stuff like that. But what I like about it, I mean, I opened it now and it's just got this sort of four, four things to think about when creating a magic trick and they're not things that you would you would sort of think about them, but not straight away and they're kind of anchor points so if you think about the, those four things and you tick those boxes then you're going to have a good trick so it just makes you it makes you think outside the box I mean Brian Eno I think came out with this deck of cards that you look at one and it makes you think a different way and and I've always said and with my personal development stuff I say this all the time inspiration is so important. I lit. I wouldn't be in front of this camera now doing this if it wasn't but for the fact I've been inspired by someone. So I remember my note friend Noel Quarter. So you know you should do reviews, and I said I always wanted to do that. And just that little conversation sparked this whole thing, which arguably, is, well, no, not arguably, has completely changed my life because this is now a big focal point in my life, and it brings me so much joy. Uh, so you know that is from one person saying one thing. So opening this and that saying that 
if we're open to it and we, we, we go into it with an open mind, might create an idea. And that's what this exists for. When we get later on in the book, it starts actually giving you gen like specific ideas, like do this. And that's a massive gift, isn't it? I always remember um, in Strong Magic, is it Strong Magic? That at the end he says, right, here's an idea. I promise you if you take this idea and do it, and it's about having a kid's magic set, you, it will do well. But I bet you hardly anyone will do it. And that sums this up really. So this thing of people not using the information is usually because people look for a complex answer to a complex problem. So we see the creation of a magic trick as a complex thing, but actually, if we approach it a certain way, it can actually be a very simple process. And because of the way we're wired, we think, no, no, because if, if, if we create a magic trick that's really good, that's got a profound effect. So surely the process has to be really, really difficult. And, and we match it like that. And the minute we don't match it, we go, actually, we could just have a spark of inspiration and create something that will be life-changing. If we believe that and have faith in that, and, and I've, uh, I've seen it many, many times, then books like this come into their own. So listen, you know, I know I'm very gushy about this, but this person has put some gold into this book, as Andy did with his acting book, that can save you years and months of pain, and I'm really glad it's out, and I'm really glad I've got it. So there it is, Only Ideas by Rory Adams, have a look at it. It's not going to cost you loads. I'll put the prices and the links down below. Um, and thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. Go to cardmagiccourse.com. Thank you for listening to this big rambly review because uh, I do like to go off on one sometimes uh, and it makes me happy. So thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.